hey y'all hey hey y'all hey hey y'all hi <clears throat> excuse me as y'all can see it's morning i am on my way to work but the holy spirit is just really emphasizing to me um like i need to record this video before i get to work this morning and post it this morning it is thursday um and bando rebeke talabashandi libyan sona makalabaya um you, I'm sorry y'all but I just saw something that near about took me out of here um the Holy Spirit was just sharing with me you know how when you have a pure heart and when you have a, a you know when you're when you, just like the the man of God David I was speaking about in a video the other day a man after God's own heart when your desires to truly please the Lord despite your actions we live in the flesh Y'all know that scripture I read in a couple videos ago. Even when I would do good, evil is always there. And the, the good that I would do, I don't. Um, that is what, why it takes grace. It takes the strength and the power of God to actually um, <clears throat> fulfill purpose. Um, because temptation will always be around us. But when temptation begins to overtake us, we got to fight that is when we fight that is when we fight and many cannot outlast and outstand i'm telling you right now the enemy's agenda is to get us to a place of desperation when i say desperation i mean emotionally psychologically financially in every area of our lives just like all around settlement he wants all around chaos in our lives to push us and back us into a corner where we feel no other choice but to submit to the darkness. Many did not make it. I'm going to tell you right now. And sometimes, you know, we play the villain in people's lives and people play the villain in our lives to be a tool to push us into a corner and back us into a place where we feel as though we have no choice but to submit to the occult. To, to, because I'm telling you right now, the, the agenda of the enemy right now is to have uh, the chosen ones those who would be considered <laughs> right now i'm hearing the week from the tear the separation is happening right now okay and the separation of the wheat and the tear are the ones who will give the enemy that little corner of darkness that little corner of unforgiveness that little corner of envy that little corner of jealousy and will not bring those things of the heart the matters of the heart before the lord for repentance but will allow life circumstances to put them to drastically drag them into a place of despair where they feel no other choice or where we feel no other choice but to say you know what god i have no choice but to join them i can't beat them so i will join them but i want to encourage someone today see i almost choked <clears throat> I want to encourage someone today that with God, you are the majority, even if it's just you. You know, many, many now we, we need an entourage. I'm telling you, <laughs> y'all, there have been an assassinate. There have been several assassination attempts for my life that literally on my birthday, I was hit by a car. That was number one. That was supposed to be my life. On my birthday, I was supposed to be dead. Okay, there was an assignment on the enemy, uh, on of the enemy on my life to take me out. Okay, I mean out of here. I'm not joking. It's not no. The assignment of the enemy was to take my complete and total life. But how many know God said, "Uh, uh, not my child." Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Holy Spirit speaking already this morning. I have to write down. Um, I, I, I'm going to record some more videos after this, but, <clears throat> um, there was an assassination attempt after my life. Okay. I received a warning that there will be another car accident to, to take me out and I will, I will miss it by a millisecond. Just last week, um, one the time kept one You're going to be at, I was supposed to be at a particular pace at one I pulled up at 1.30. Now, I was supposed to... Now, if you're... You can't get somewhere by 1.30 and be passing the... Um, on the way at 1.30. On time is on time. 
So you can't get somewhere at a certain time and be passing there at a certain time. So had I been on time to get to this destination at 1.30, when I actually was turning to go to where I was destined to go by 1.30, the accident that was intended for me, I had just missed and I watched it with my own eyes as I passed it at 1.30 to get to my destination. I'm telling you right now, some of us are just heavily protected because God gave you the heart he gave you for a reason. That what people think is naive and gullible and all of that stuff, it was the favor of God on your life. He gave some of us that don't take it for granted. Yes, you have suffered. Yes, you have endured. You've had to be mocked and shamed. You ain't no victim. You're a victor. You're an overcomer. And people might look at you like, oh, you always complaining. Everybody always attacking you. No, <laughs> baby, ain't no victim over here because it's the glory of God. It ain't nothing but the power and the blood of Jesus that I've been able, we've been able to endure hardness as good soldiers. Y'all know that, that saying, he gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. And you might look small in size, just like David. David was small in size, but that he, he killed that giant with five smooth stones and only one of them took him out. I just want to encourage somebody today. They looking for you to be down and out in despair and running back to the cult. They looking for you to say, look, I'll do anything for marriage. I'll do anything for money. I'll do anything for the promise. I don't care what. I, I'll do anything. I'll run back to this, this cult. Please, just give me a husband. Just give me a wife. I'll run back. Please, just don't take all my money. I'll run back. Please, don't let me get fired again from my job. I'll run back. But the devil is a liar. God is the greatest power. Y'all, I ain't even get up here to be all preachy. But when I tell you the violent suffer in, in the violent, take it by force. We got to be violent at this point. All that meat. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, but God, God, he is them tables now. We trying to sit at them tables. God saying, turn them jokers over. It's time to turn them over. <laughs> All that, you know, my, I, I posted a video that called Tyrone. The devil won't Tyrone. So this is what we got to give him. The kingdom suffering violence, but the violent is right now. We taking it by force. That's it. That's all. I love y'all so much. God loves you better. And the absolute most. There's nothing you can do about it if you try. Good morning. Happy Thursday.